Heart with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. Yellow rock reefs can be wonderful throwing blades. I know there's a fish here where there was. Let's see if she shows up today. But there definitely was a muskie on this reef. Well again, whether she shows up today or not, that's another story. But there should be a fish here. There's a fish, oh yeah, and it's a big one. I was gonna say, wow, oh yeah. Hopefully she's got it good. Wow. Oh yeah, it's a big fish. It's a good one. It's a good musky. Let's see if I can keep her. Actually, I'm gonna turn the spot lock off. Okay. Oh boy. I think she's hooked pretty well. I'm gonna try to get the net on her fairly quickly here if we can. There we go, and we got her. Touchdown, baby. Touchdown. Oh yeah. Now we'll spot lock. Oh, hell yeah. You cannot beat it, guys. Grape Flame. Grape Flame scores, baby. Boom. All right. There she comes, a rock brute. Holy cow, guys. Look at the size of that fish. Beautiful muskie right there. Just annihilated the 500 Booker tail and grape flame. When you're fishing shallow rocks, you can't beat a blade. Wow. Gorgeous muskie right there. Let's get her back and I'll fill you in on the details. Guys, welcome to our musky segment today. I could not be any more excited because I've just now combined two of my all time favorite things. Rocks, I should say three. Rocks, 500 grape flame, and a big musky. I mean, that is just awesome. And I wanna fill you in here on the details of this catch. First of all, we've got environmental change, finally. And this is a scenario here where as a, as a guide, as a muskie hunter, you name it, whoever, whatever you do, you've got to take advantage of fish that you have marked in previous trips. I saw this weather change, I had moved a muskie, and I said, you know what? Things are changing, it's time to get on one of these muskies that's been following and following and following, and we finally got her. So strategy or tip number one is when you see change, Go on a spot that you've been working, you've been seeing fish, go get one of these muskies that you've been trying to catch. And strategy or tip number two, okay? I'm using the, uh, again, this is nine foot medium heavy Legend Elite by St. Croix, 80 pound bee sprayed here, and the old Grape Flame 500 Booker Tail Tinsel. I mean, this, this lure is an absolute killer. Uh, one of my favorite color combinations here on the stained water flowages that I fish primarily, but again, Tip number two is this. When you've got rocks, a lot of folks, including myself, love to fish crankbaits on rocks. But 
when you've got rock structure that is oh between three and five feet on its top out on its on its uh its highest points the blade becomes an amazing option uh you know if i if i keep my rod tip down and i slow roll or just medium speed the old 500 it's going to get down about two feet easily and that's like just over the tops of these rocks and that's where the really when, when the weather's like this we got some we got some movement uh out west here behind us that's where uh, this this lure will come into play and and uh really catch muskies that are holding on hard bottom structure uh i have to say again i mean i that fish hit so hard i thought it was actually a rock and uh, that's where the long rod comes into play. Uh, I'll say tip number three, and I'll leave you with this for this segment is, you know, when you're not sure how well these muskies are hooked right away, she was hooked pretty well. But again, sometimes it's really hard to tell. You have to free spool these big muskies. I mean, she actually ripped my, my initial star drag just a hair, but once I got her in close range, that's when I engaged free spool. You want to keep a tight line on these muskies, but you also have to play them a little bit. You cannot horse the big ones in. You just can't. Something's going to give. So there you have it, guys. Environmental change. Get back on a hot fish. Um, rocks, shallow rocks, blades, and don't you don't hesitate to free you know to free spool these big fish and play them. So those are the three. Uh, musky tips for you on this segment. I absolutely love you guys. Thanks to all the Musky Mastery subscribers out there. And as always, thanks for watching. You're watching Season 4 Musky Mastery Outdoors. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting and educational musky and multi-species action.